Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you how to make these seed beads square stitch rings. They're really easy to make and I'll show you step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're gonna be able to make them by yourself. So if you like them and you wanna see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh beading ideas and if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description, you will find a full list of materials, a link to my store and a link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I need for this video are four colors of 11 seed beads. Here I use monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters. This is size 10 beading needle and scissors. And I'm going to put a comfortable length of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay, and I'm back and here I'm going to use this colorful pattern. Uh, to make my work. The stitch is really easy and I'm sure you are going to be able to make it. Uh, I'm showing really slowly. Okay, and here uh, you will see uh, the element I'm working on at this corner and you could also pause this video like that and follow this pattern. Okay, so now I'm going to start. Okay guys, and in my first step I'm going to make a row of seven green beads. Okay, first I'm going to take a stopper bead like that, slide it down and I'm going here through this stopper bead once and then I'm going second time through it. Okay. And now I'm going to take seven green beads. Okay, I have here my seven. And I'm sliding those down. Okay. And I have my first row done. Okay, now I'm going to take my pattern and start my second row. And for my second row I have three greens, one yellow and three greens. And now I'm going to show you this easy to make square stitch. Okay, I'm taking two green beads and I'm going back through the first two green beads like that. And I pull and I pull back to my work. Okay, like that. Then I go back again through these newly added two green beads and in my next step you see I have a green and a yellow so I'm taking one green and one yellow bead okay like that and I'm going through the next two green beads okay and pull you could do this one by one beat, but I think two beats will be much faster, okay? Then I'm going back through the same two beats that I just added, back through them, making something like a loop between my beats. Then I'm going to take two green beats again and going through the following two like that. Link. and you see where my thread is back through those two green beads okay you see the pattern in the corner okay take one and the one that I'm adding I will also go back through two beads because I want this to be attached nice and tight and not to move around. That is why again I'm going through two beads back and forth. Okay. Now I have my second row. And for my third row, what I need are two greens, yellow, red, yellow, and two greens. 
Okay, I'm doing this from this side, two greens. Go back like this. Then through those two beads. And I take yellow and red, as you might see here, yellow and red, and I'm going back through these two beads. Always go back through two beads, pull, okay, pull again. And here, what I need is yellow and green. And I'm going back through these two, like that. Then through the yellow and through the green. Take one green, go back here and pull. And then again, you see where my thread is going. I'm going here through these two green beads. And you could go back through the previous row and back again if you want to reinforce your work, okay, to look better. Then I'm here at my one, two, three, fourth row. You see, and here I have a green, yellow, red, yellow, red yellow and green, okay? And I'm going to do this. You see this in this corner also. I need a green and a yellow, like that. Go back through these two beads. And what I need next is a red and a yellow. Okay, and I'm going back here through these two beads again. And back again. And then a red and a yellow again. And pull. And I'm going back through these two beads. Okay, now I have this. And here I need only one green bead. And I'm going back here through these two, like that, and back again, okay guys, I think you get the idea, now you could pause this video and follow this pattern and make this element and this element here and when I'm up to here, I'll be back to, to show you the progress and to tell you what to do next. Okay, guys, and when I continue beading, this is what I have. Half of my pattern is ready. And now my thread is almost over. It's really short. And I'm going to show you how to make, to cut this thread and add a new one. Okay, and now I'm going here between some beads. In this direction and what I want to do in this step is make a knot and cut my thread and in order to make a knot I'm making a loop here going once and going second time through the loop I've made and I pull then I go through the following bead pull and I cut my thread like this. Now I'm going to add a new thread and continue my work until the end. 
Okay, and I have new longer thread on my needle. And I must tell you that if you took a long enough thread, you won't need to make this step. But I know it's difficult to work with such a long thread. That is why I prefer to show you this also. Okay, then I'm going here through those beads. And here I make a loop and I go once, then I go second time through this loop I meet and I pull and then I will go here in my outside edge and start my next row. And I'm going to cut this thread here, okay? And now guys, I'm going to continue with my work. You see, I made the first two elements and I'm going to repeat them. In fact, at this stage, you don't need uh, this pattern because you already have it here and you could watch from this side. Of your work I will repeat this one more time and I must tell you that if you want to make your ring larger this is 28 rows, rows. Uh, if you want to make it more rows you could just make more space between your elements rows without um, rows in one color here I have two rows between my elements and you could do three or more if your finger is bigger or you could uh, make only one row between your elements if it's smaller okay and i'm going to continue with this one here with this part and when i do this i'll be back to tell you how to connect your ring okay guys and when i continued following my pattern after i added more thread this is what i have and now i'm adding my last bit and going here and what I want to do next is connect uh, my ring okay and before that I will show you how it looks in yellow and I started one that is with silver and black okay and if you continue this longer or make it wider you could make a bracelet you could also make a choker you should just add a clasp at the end and you will have whatever you like. Okay, and now I'm going to show you how to connect this into a ring. Okay, and in order to do this, I'm folding this like that because I want these two sides here to meet. And you see, when I meet them, I also have two rows between my elements. Okay, like that. Okay, and as I'm exiting here from these two beads, I'm going in these two of my other side and I pull. Then what I want to do is go back here to these two again. And in fact, what I do is the same square stitch or ladder stitch, but I'm doing it without adding any more beads, just connecting, okay? going here then through those two beads and I pull then I'm going back through these two and through the following two like that and pull and then I go back here through those two beads, pulling again. And here I am at the end where my stopper bead is and I want to remove it here. Just pull it away. Okay, now I have this. And what I'm doing is that I go here back through this and through the last bead here 
Okay. Then I'm going back through these two. And again here in these last two beads. Okay. Now what I want to do is make a loop and cut my thread. That is why I'm going here through some beads, making here a loop. And I'm going once, then I'm going second time through this loop I've made, and I pull. Then I will go through one of my following beads, pull, and what I do is that I cut my thread, and here I might put my needle on this tail thread, make a knot and also cut it, and my ring will be ready. Ok guys, and now my square stitch rings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh beading ideas. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description you will find a full list of materials, a link to my store and a link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.